Hey, I have a simple request. When you're done watching this, not now, when you're done, call a friend, tell them you just watched this, you liked it, they should watch. Turn people on to us. That way we can do more, better, bigger things for you. Promise. More people watch, you get more better shit at home. You get more better stuff at home. Promise. See ya. Hello, LiveCast fans. It's uh, Friday. It's the end of Shrimp Week. We're going to do something really good today. What is it? We're making... Shrimp. Crispy <laughs> shrimp, and then we're gonna put them into a taco. Yes. We don't have to put them into a taco, but we're going to because that's one of the uses for them. Oh yeah. You know, I used to be this I don't want to deep fry anything in my house guy, and oh. now we're boom, deep frying. I am so I will deep fry anything. I don't give a shit. <laughs> Maybe Lynn should bring his deep fryer over one day. Hey, let's not talk about no. Lynn's deep fryer is broken or something. No, 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 no. No, we returned it because it was dangerous. Oh. <laughs> uh, oh, gosh. You know what? I meant to take these tails off. What do you got? 3140s? Um, I don't know what these are, actually. I, yeah, I think so. Sorry, I should have taken the tails off. Just because they're going to go, they're going to just go right into it, like a taco. Um, you get, look, if you were, if you wanted to make a version of these for, like a like a party and have like a little dipping, like a shrimp to dip. Then you would leave the tails on, so you've got a little handle. But I don't I don't want the tails on in a taco. No, That's this is very up. considerate of you because I've actually had tail on in a taco. In a really? taco? That's it's, it's annoying. That's messed up. Why would somebody do that? I don't know. It's like you take a bite and then it's like, oh wait, hold on one sec. Let me get this out of my mouth. Exactly. Okay, so there we go. I think there's thirty one forties. I think I don't really know. All right, so look at here's here's the deal. The deal is is pretty much the same in a um, what do we call this? A breading situation. So we'll put a couple of eggs in here. It, the setup is always the same. It's it's flour, it's uh, the egg, and then it's the crunchy coating, which could be regular breadcrumbs. I only use the panko, the Japanese breadcrumbs, because it's so, it's just so much better. Let me check the temperature on my oil over here. I'm looking for 350 degrees, and I'm at uh, 130, so. 350? Yeah. Sorry, so right. I'm not there. 350 is the Another optimum. Another 200 degrees? It'll get there fast. Oh, okay, I feel like that's. It's gonna take forever? I don't know, 200 no, no, degrees? No, 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 it's, it's getting there, it's not, not to worry. We'll, we'll get to this point, we'll take a break. Okay. So, but we don't wanna just put this in a plain flour, we wanna season the flour. So here's what we're gonna use. We're gonna do some salt. Salt. A little garlic powder. It's right here. And some chipotle, chipotle uh, chili powder. The smell of this is ridiculous. That stuff's you, really good. You could use regular chipotle powder. I mean, regular chili powder if you if you had it. But if you got the chipotle chili powder, I say you use that. I run out of that stuff like all the time. Oh, you're crazy using it all the yeah, time? I use it on everything. You put that shit on everything? Cereal? No. Breakfast foods, pancakes? No. Okay, so we got this, right? Good. Eggs. Actually, I think I need one more egg. Could you grab me one more egg? I don't think you have any more. No, I do. Anytime this week. Thank you. And I always say, if you're not hitting the bottom, you're not beating an egg. You're just like pushing it around and that's not going to incorporate the white into the yellow. And that's what you want. All right. Done. Plate. So here's what we do. You try and do this with one hand if you can. 
try and keep one hand dry, if at all possible. So I'm going to go into the flour, into the egg with my, this dirty hand, and then I'll try and use the clean hand if, if I can. I don't want these things to be like too, too breaded. So I don't want, I want to shake off as much flour as I can. He doesn't want the carbs. It's not the carbs, <laughs> it's the coating. I can see this is not going to work. You mean keeping one hand? I'm going to try and, yeah, it's not possible. Screw it. I thought I could go nicely with two hands, keeping sort of decently dry. Okay, now, now the coating part comes, right? Get these coated well, all the way around. And just stick them over here now. Now we're just waiting. Now they're ladies in waiting. Mm. Do you think there's male and, I guess there has to be male and female shrimp, right? It has to be. I don't well, know. I, don't know I mean, do you eat all of them? Like, you, like you don't eat, uh, Wait, you don't, you, don't, uh, you don't get female lobsters, correct? Do shrimp get down? I'm sure they do. They have to. In some way, they have to. <laughs> but I think you throw back the female lobsters. Isn't that right? I don't yeah, know. I've two non-fishermen here. Yeah. Well, there's three non-fishermen in this room. And I've been out on a, a, like a guy's boat, my ex-neighbor, uh, to get lobsters before, but I just don't remember the rule. I only remember the rule of they have to be a certain size, and there's this little metal ruler that you use. Jordan would know. Jordan would know. Uh, man, you watch Forrest Gump? They seem to not care. All right, here we go. Let's just try and get these guys finished. You don't have to watch this if you don't want. We want to see if the oil's ready, and maybe take a break, Seven and then minutes. those will be ready. I will. Hold on. Just I just really want to get these in. Pressure. I know. Pressure. Well, I got to make enough so everybody can have, right? Yeah. Yeah. See, look, I've just followed this one extra hand. I don't think but people I, realize, but this is our dinner. <laughs> it's, well, it's, no, it's not. <laughs> you try and make it your dinner. No, that's a lie. I go home and I eat some more. <laughs> I know you do. <laughs> but you always go, this is dinner. We're very lucky that we get to eat at work. Well, it's like a restaurant, right? Okay, here we go. Six more. Hold on. I'm almost there. They're I know. I perfect. know. It's terribly boring, huh? Well, you can't you can't underestimate the amount of panko you're gonna need because you're gonna need a lot. I think I had about I don't know a half a pound here, and I went through a good almost two cups of panko. So. I look at it, I could just dip my fingers in the oil now. They look like little shrimp anyways. <laughs> All right, so we do this quick. And we hope the oil's not beyond where we want it. Let's look. Look at that. You didn't think it was gonna go that fast. I didn't. All right, here's what we do. We take a quick break. Fast break, we come back, that'll be 350, the shrimp will go in. They're gonna take like about a minute-ish. That's it, to cook, it's really fast. Don't go away. All right, that's 350, the shrimp are breaded, but first, a little shout out to my niece, Allie Bruiser. I know it's kind of a wax shirt. You can see down here, it says Parasite. She was part of a group of kids that took an illegal skate park in New Orleans and turned it into a legal skate park so kids could get themselves off the street and do something good. That's awesome. That's what the youth of America is all about, this. Not necessarily, they're not necessarily about t-shirts with skulls, <laughs> but they're about taking problems and fixing them. I love that, I love that. All right, we'll dedicate these to her. I prefer creating problems, actually. I know, <laughs> don't get me started. All right, so let's see if our oil, if I'm, if I'm close with my oil. What are we? You can't see my hand. Can't see, can't see, can't see. 342, 46. Oh, we're perfect. There you go. It's perfect. It's perfect. All right, 
So now you can't put too many in because what will happen is they'll bring the temperature of the oil down and you don't want that. So here's what we're going to do. We'll do like, uh, what is that? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven in there. Hold on. I need, I need my Chinese fishing net. I want to make sure they're not touching. Yeah, 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 I'm real excited. These are going to be amazing. Where's my, oh, my favorite spoon is not here. Shit, S. Got it. Here's the cool part. How fast it goes, right? Do you need to be flipped or? Yep, you're going to get flipped. They almost don't. They're almost sitting in the right amount of oil. Uh, if you only have a little bit of oil, you're going to need to flip them. But these guys, I think these guys are going to be just fine. Oh, I can see the brown. Brown. I can see some color. Brown. Brown. It's going to be jacked up how good these are going to be. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, don't be scared of this. Do not be scared of making yourself something in oil like this. I stayed away from it for the longest time. Look it. I was not happy with it. I didn't like the smell. I thought it was just a hassle. It's not a hassle. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. I'm just so excited to get all of them done. Aren't you, Max? Mm hmm I'm going to break my rule. I'm just going to finish them all off right here. I got a decent amount of oil in here. I think I can do this. I think I have the technology. Did you turn the heat off? No. Oh. Uh, but I turned the heat down a little bit. Look, as it gets to temperature, it will just keep on going, and that's not what you want. You don't want it to get hotter than that because you don't want to burn your stuff. 350, 360 is really the number where you want to be. I meant to say, when these guys come out, they get a little bit of salt. So now, watch what I can do. If you back up for a sec. Now I can put a tortilla on there. And now I can take some... I'd say sour cream, but I'm going to use non-fat Greek yogurt. And I've got this Napa cabbage that's just been sitting in here waiting for me to do something with. I'll just make this. Into a little slaw for me. And you guys too, don't worry. Look what's happening, that's gorgeousness. But you know what? This would be the perfect time to try one. Oh my god. Oh what? Mm -hmm. It's hot. Chief. Mmm. Yeah. But you never asked. Mmm. Whoa. I hear the crunching. How mm. good, right? It's hot. It's very hot. It's very hot. It's very <laughs> <laughs> look at him. It's hot. Oh, it's yeah. hot. <laughs> because it's good. So you see how this second batch is cooking a little slower? Mm -hmm. Because heat drop. heat drop, right. So we'll do this. Non-fat Greek yogurt with a little chipotle Adobo sauce, just a little.
The point of this was not to make tacos. The point of this was to make crunchy shrimp. And then to say, oh, look, you make crunchy shrimp. You could make them like this and put them in a basket, make a dipping sauce, and let people just pick them up. That kind of thing. Hold on. Kelly! It's Andrew Chen. Fantastic. Where do I Kelly, hear that? This is my Snapchat, people. Go follow me if you want to see some. Oh, okay, here. Sorry. Let me just steal that. Non fat Greek yogurt. Healthy. Some uh, Napa cabbage. Delicious. Yeah. And then these guys. Do we need anything else in there? Uh, no. I don't think so. And let me see from this side. Nice. Shit. Ready? Beautiful. Oh, good lord. Amazing. You know what? Oh, good lord. Those guys could be, the pieces could actually be smaller. The whole shrimp like that are almost too big. But. So like slice them and just cut them in half or something? Yeah, make smaller pieces out of them. Like Bef that. Before you cook them or? Mm -hmm. Okay, so that they're all mm -hmm. breaded, yeah. Got it. Because mm -hmm. it's just, you're, you, it's all preference. If you like a big shrimp. Oh, he's throwing up. I'm Lucky. Not, I can't. I'm not going over there. I'm everybody's not. throwing up today. Every dog is throwing up today. That means they got into something. It's okay, Lucky. Excuse me while I have another bite. Wait, get, he's, mom, mom, Lucky needs you. Come here, boo-boo. Oh, Jesus. Good God. Uh, this, you're freaking fucks. Well, he just threw up like massively. And it was all over his face. Can you? Sorry. Oh. All right. Right. Let's right. Yeah. I'm working here. One more bite. Holy crap. All right. <laughs> Lucky's puking on Lynn's bag. Can you wrap the show, okay, please? I'm I sorry. love you. Let's Where, go. Oh God, I'm sorry. We got this. You're just standing there's there like, silent. I'm eating this. I know. And it's really <laughs> Everything good. I know. Right. We all want to eat. Thanks for hanging out with us. Thanks for watching Shrimp Week. Next week is Sauce and Salsa Week. Or Salsa and Sauce Week. However it needs to go. See, I got to go attend to my puking <laughs> dogs, apparently. Every dog is thrown up today. Oh, Every dog is thrown up today. Kelly!